In this video, I want to spend some time uh, revisiting a topic that we've looked at before, but I wanted to reinforce some of it, but also uh, do some prep for the next video that we'll be looking at where we're going to create another model, but then start to do some queries um, uh, to information that we have in the database. So in our ap application right now, the way that it works is that there are certain things that are only displayed when we're logged in. And actually, the way that the system is set up right now, you can only view most of the site unless you're logged in. Uh, you can only view it when you're logged in. So I need to log in. password okay so the way that this is going to work is that um, I'm going to set it so that we have a link here that will link to page 2 uh, and we'll have some information that is related to the user that's currently logged in we're going to create another model for that but I wanted to do the, the links first um, I'm going to do, a, I guess it'll be a redundant um, uh, protection of links so that they're only displaying when the user is logged in, just so that I can show it again um, and uh, um, so that you see it again. We did have it in a previous application uh, that you had to work on. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I um, wanted to point out again that uh, we have this dashboard controller and that we have these links here for the main page and then page one and page two. This was generated using the, the Rails generate controller. Um, and in the pages, I want to be able to display things that will be viewed here based on whoever it is that's logged in. Um, and then uh, we're going to do some protection of the user in, um, or sort of protection of which links are viewable when the user is logged in. So we're going to use the same kind of thing here, this if user signed in uh, piece. Uh, OK, so let's get started. The first thing I wanted to do, I'm going to create a user variable. And I'm going to base this off of the information for the user. So I'm going to use a, um, a, an active record query to do this. Um, this is saying that you know from the user model, where, um, uh, where actually I'm not going to do where I'm going to do a find um, the record related to the current user's ID. And the thing I wanted to remind us of here, saw this in the last video, that each of the users, when their account is created, they have a user ID. And so that is displayed here, um, and that uh, should be similar to what we would see, actually not similar, that's, that'll be the same ID that is, is uh, found in this, this variable at this, uh, at this attribute. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the link that I want to have in the, um, in the dashboard. I want to have a link to And I'm going to call it for now because the, what I'm going to be doing next, I want to be able to have a, a courses model. Um, so uh, for a user, I want to be able to display you know, which courses has a, a user taken. And I'm going to pass this information along. So I want to know, OK, so which controller are we going to execute? Uh, this is going to be the dashboard controller. Uh, which uh, which method or which page did I want, do I want to hit? So, um, which action? I want to go to, I think I'm going to go to page two. And that'll be good. I'm not going to pass any variables or any parameters along with this, so I just need these two pieces here. So, the next thing that uh, I need to do with this page is I need to protect the information that's here and make sure that it's only viewed when the uh, user is logged in. And it's a little bit redundant here um, because the page, you know, every page is actually protected um, the way that I have the route set up. But I'm going to put this in here anyway. So 
as user signed in. We'll do this and then end. Oops. Oh. Okay. So that piece is done and uh, now let's make sure that we know that something actually happened when I got to this page. And I'm actually, I'm going to use this piece here. So user.find. So I'm going to use this user variable. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to display that. Um, let's take at user dot first name. And I'm going to just say hello user dot first name. Okay. So that's that's basically it. Let me refresh the page. Uh, what did I forget? Uh, oh, oh, page. Should be page one. Page two. Sorry. So this error is telling me what the problem is. It says no rope matches action page um, in this controller. And that's because there is no page action. It's either page one or page two or index. So that's what I just corrected. Let me refresh. So here's my display courses. You'll see there at the bottom uh, the, the link that's to be traversed to, so I'll click on that. And on page two, now it says, Hello, John. If I go back to the home page, that's there. If I go to page two, that, of course, is going to be displayed as well um, for, um, for this user. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's the conclusion of this video. The next video, we're going to be creating a new model, um, and we're going to bring this together. So on this page, uh, we're using the current user's information to display um, some, you know, some associated data. Um, but the next uh, video is really about creating another model um, and then link it, linking it to this page through the use of some act, uh, active record uh, queries.